Hey everyone, welcome to Crush on Covers with me, Tracy Ann, for another watercolor project. This time we're doing the continuation of our Envelope Snail Mail project, project number three. It is Mayflowers already, so don't forget to check out my Red Bubble store for stickers, prints, pins, and products. So I'm doing a vibrant blue, maybe you want to call that an indigo blue. Anywho, it is very vibrant and I just like colors when they pop. Of course, I love backgrounds, so I'm adding it all over, nice and deep and rich, and then I let it dry. And I want to do um, a light Pink, just so that the blue actually pops and the flower will be more outstanding so if you just quick tip if you go vibrant and then you add vibrant it's gonna be lost because you're gonna need a lot of dark deep rich tone to add to it if you're gonna do vibrant and vibrant and so it will be a bit lost there's no focal point so I want the flower to be the focal point, hence I make it light and very, very pale compared to the background. But it is still a flower and you'll see what I mean, it pops more. Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching my project, my snail mail project. Um, and you can go ahead and do this. Remember, check your craft room out, see what you have there that you haven't used in a long time and make a project out of it okay it still helps you to practice your craft and get your watercolor skills you know developed so thank you for checking out my shop too as well all the prints will be there and uh, stay tuned for the other video of my snail mail watercolor 